What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video we're going to continue our deep dive into Cubase 12 and we're going to talk about the new feature inside of Very Audio using Scale Assistant. Let's get right to it. All right, so if you don't know what Scale Assistant is, I'm gonna go ahead and open up an instrument track, and I'm gonna show you what Scale Assistant is for MIDI instruments and why this is so huge to use it in very audio, which essentially helps you correct pitch inside of Cubase. So when we open up Scale Assistant, you're gonna see that we have a key, a specific key that we're gonna be working in. And in this case, I have a D minor, a natural minor scale. And if I have this snap pitch editing mode off, you're gonna see on the left side here that the notes are cycling through every single note on the piano here. But if I go ahead and choose snap pitch editing, it's going to snap on only the notes within the key of D minor. And then if I also hit this little house here where it says pitch visibility, then it's really only gonna show me the notes inside of the scale for this key. So what's super cool is that now Very Audio has that, but within the audio section instead of just using MIDI instruments. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this instrument track because we're only gonna be working with vocals here. And I'm gonna pull up a sample pack with a hook that has some vocals and you can see how quickly we can use Scale Assistant to create things like harmonies inside of Cubase using Very Audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this vocal hook into the project. So here I have the vocal and now we're going to use Very Audio. So let's go ahead and just hear what the vocal sounds like before I affect anything. All we know is falling down. We don't know where we're going now. No, all we know. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate this track and I'm gonna create a second copy. Now, the cool thing about Scale Assistant, again, you don't need to sit here and choose note by note to figure out your harmonies. We're gonna go ahead and double click on the audio wave. And then we're going to zoom in so we could see the beginning part of this phrase. And then we're gonna to go to the left and you're gonna see that in this left inspector window, we're gonna have very audio. We're gonna go ahead and open that and we're gonna click on this little pointer tool and it's gonna turn on very audio, which essentially is all the pitches within this audio file. So notice how Inside of Very Audio, we have the Scale Assistant here. This is the same exact Scale Assistant we have inside of the instrument track. So now I'm gonna follow the key that this audio track it's in. So it's in C sharp minor. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to C sharp. And then we have natural minor here. So now all we're gonna do is we are going to highlight all of these notes. Cause remember we are in the key of C sharp minor so now all of these notes are going to snap on to c sharp minor i don't even need to click on it with the mouse i can just use the arrows on my keyboard so if i put snap pitch editing and then i move this up you're going to hear it go up a scale so check this out So that is the beauty of using Scale Assistant inside of Very Audio. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move this up and now it's going to create a harmony because it, everything shifted up the same amount. So we went up one, two, three notes in the scale of C sharp. So we have C sharp, then we have D sharp, then we have E, and then we have F sharp. So these are three notes that we moved up and if we take a listen to now the original pitch with the new harmonization of this, let's see what we get. All we know is falling down, we don't know where we're going now, no. And as you can see, we just created a harmony by choosing the correct key that we're in and then just moving the pitches, highlighting them all and using the arrows on your keyboard to shift the pitches up or down. So what if we create a third harmony? So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this one more time and then I'm going to open up the Very Audio I'm going to highlight them all and then I'm going to play it and then we're going to scroll through it in real time so we could choose a harmony that we like. All we know is falling down, we don't know where we're going now, no, all we know is falling down, down, down. 
So as you can see, we just created a three-part harmony, very easy using Scale Assistant inside of Very Audio. You can, of course, just single out particular notes. So if, for example, if we have this harmony and we want to change a single note, we can go into the notes. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it. Oh, we know it. So this one right here, I don't want it to be a D sharp. No, it, no, it. Let's say I want it to be an E. Oh, we know it's falling. I'm going to change this to <laughs> E2. Oh, we know it's falling down. We don't know where. So this one, I want don't, to don't, don't. keep it on G sharp here. Oh, we know it's falling down. We don't know where we're going. Or we can even try don't, don't, don't. going up to C sharp, see what happens. Oh, we know it's falling down. We don't know where we're... So as you can see, you're never going to play a wrong note or have a wrong note here simply because the scale assistant is taking care of all of the notes for you. You're just moving it and choosing a note that you feel fits best for the harmony. So I'm going to move these up to C sharp. <laughs> and we're going to try the harmony again. Oh, we know. And now this one, oh, oh. keeping it a G sharp, and let's try it from here. And then this last note, I want to go even higher than that. So I'm going to click on this. I can use my arrows on the keyboard. And let's say I wanted this high E up here. Now no, all we know is falling down, down, down. And then this last note, let's make it a C sharp. Da, 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 da. And again, it's just snapping onto the key here. I'm not choosing the notes. It's doing this all on its own. This doesn't just work with vocals. You could do this with brass instruments. You could do this with guitar lines. So let's go ahead and check out this last little piece here. Oh, it's falling down, down, down. And as you can see, we have a perfectly in tune harmony. This is a game changer for vocal production. So if you do a lot of vocal production or you're a songwriter and you want to quickly make harmonies over particular parts of the song, this is a great way to do it. You don't even need to overdub and sing the harmony. You could just simply copy and paste and then move it over and then use the scale assistant to choose the harmony and create your own harmonies within the particular scale that you're working in. So that is it on the new feature of Scale Assistant inside of Very Audio. If you have any questions, just go ahead and drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to visit the John Moon Studios website. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link in the description. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I will see you guys soon.